Breathwork Africa is an organization and a breathwork training facility whose aim it is to share the tools and the knowledge, the science and the art of breathwork to as many people as possible across all communities in not just South Africa, but in Africa. So the reason that I am so passionate about breathwork as a medical doctor is that it really is a way to deal with the fundamental root causes of illness and the emotions that often lead to illness. It's, it's a tool for growth and transformation. It's a tool for enhancing sports performance. So breathwork is a tool that can be accessed in any and every aspect of life. So it's not just a tool, but it's a way of living eventually. So it is a way that we can consciously energize our system, calm the system down, and balance the system. Like right now is exam season. So currently we're trying to help them do, to give them coping mechanisms with that stress and help them to focus more on their studies with the breathing techniques. The optimum functioning of the physical body is dependent on the rhythm of what we call the sympathetic response, which is the body's stress response, and the parasympathetic response, which is the body's rest and digest mode. And in order for the system, the physical body, to stay in its optimum state, this rhythm of energy is required. However, in our modern world, and faced with the, the stresses and traumas that you know, we face on an everyday basis, no matter what community we're living in, we're constantly being triggered to activate the stress response. And as a result, we get locked in it. And the body cannot drop into the rest and, and relax mode. And the body is then unable to restore its energy resources. And over time, that leads to illness. So in early life, when we can train the awareness of the stress response, and we can train that child's ability to consciously activate the rest and digest mode, then we are training this rhythm back into the system again. You know, the earlier the better. The earlier we begin, the more we are able to build these new neural pathways. Schools are a brilliant platform to teach these fundamental skills and we're building the capacity for attention and focus very early on in life. So it's very difficult for anybody to learn when we're in a hypervigilant and adrenalized state. So when a teacher can use conscious breathing to begin their class by supporting greater focus, by honing in concentration, and beginning the class in that way, it becomes a very, very easy and simple way to harness focus and concentration and, you know, really um, make the most of that class. Sometimes you are teaching and you see the learners are not forecast. Then you can take that as an activity to make them forecast. Breath in three seconds, short. Then they are quiet now you, because when they are breathing, they can, they are not speaking, isn't it? Then it's quiet in the class, and then you continue with your lesson. So that is another way of in, in, instilling discipline in the class. It is something that is natural to everybody, and simply by bringing our awareness to the breath, we can use it as a methodology to support greater health, to support more self-awareness and self-regulation in a society that is so incredibly reactive. And so by building the skill of conscious breathing, we are building individuals as part of society that is more heart-centered, that is more conscious, that is more aware, that is more healthy. Breathwork is especially powerful in under-resourced communities where nothing is certain, where you know, we're not even sure where the next meal is going to come from. What is the one thing that is certain? What is the one resource of energy that we can turn to in any moment? It's a tool that really supports a feeling of empowerment. It builds a sense of self. And I think that is incredibly powerful. I think for me, that's the power of breath work, is that it becomes a very empowering tool 
for, for children to tap into their own inner resources. Mm -hmm.